Hey, this is Keeping It Real with your host, Justin Villarreal, and today I'm going to be talking about some basketball history here as DePaul won the most frustrating win in basketball history, college basketball, NBA basketball. You probably could go back and look at high school games and little league games, and I don't think there is a single win that was more frustrating for the fans of the team that won to watch. I mean, this was, this felt like a loss. And if I'm being completely honest here, I, I honestly think that DePaul should have lost this game. But they miraculously, they somehow found a way to win 103 to 98 in overtime in a game in which it should have never gone to overtime. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. But man, just what a frustrating, frustrating way to win. I mean, this team just, I don't even know what happened. Playing Samford and got the win over Samford, but it was a lot closer than it should have been. Shouldn't have never gone in overtime. And Samford was the better team. I don't know how they lost, but Samford was the better team today. Now, I mean, the one, the one bright spot to this game was how well DePaul was able to shoot the three-point shot in this game they shot the three really really well now the problem is despite shooting like the golden state warriors from beyond the three-point line this was still a very close game the defense just wasn't there the, i mean the defense it was a rough game for the defense offensively i mean i guess it was okay because they won put up 103 points but I I don't I don't really see a bright spot at all in this game. And the way that it ended, not talking about overtime, but the way regulation ends, up two possessions with less than 20 seconds left. Deshaun Nelson gets a dunk. That should have been the dagger. That should have been the end of the game. Then at the other end of the floor, Sanford makes a layup. DePaul fouls them. Goes to the line, and now it's a two-point game. And on the inbound, all that was the all that was left to avoid this game from going in overtime was one inbound. Just had to inbound the ball once, and they turn the ball over, leads to Samford scoring and tying the game, and then they go in overtime. Now, luckily, they were able to play better in overtime, and they're able to get the win in overtime. 103 to 98, but it, it should not have, should not have gone over time. And it, it was just a terrible game. I, I can't think of any time that the team that won the game in any in any game in basketball, in basketball history, I can't think of one time where the team that won played worse than the team that lost. I, it's a miracle DePaul was able to win this game. And, you know, a win is a win. They snapped a three-game losing streak, so that's good. But I I just I just can't get over how they won this game. I mean, I'm happy, but at the same time, like, it should not have gone overtime. And and that's, that's all I have to say. It should not have gone in overtime. And DePaul just has to get better. But that's that's really it. That's all. And that's all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content. I'll see you all in the next video.